If you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you are already subscribed, don't forget to turn your notifications on so that you know when a new video goes live. Of course, if you could drop a thumbs up on this video, it will be greatly appreciated. Thanks very much. Easy peeps, welcome to another episode of Started From The Bottom, The Road To Glory. If you haven't seen the two player pack opening from yesterday, go check that out because that pack opening has brought us to this. This is a team now. We have 87 rated Son up front. You know how much we love the 84. We're going to play Chucky on the right. Chucky is a beast at sub. Honestly, we end up swapping Chucky because he wasn't really giving me what I need from the beginning. So we end up putting Willian in instead and let me tell you Willian did the business but look at the stats on that son absolutely amazing like I said you know how much we love the red 84 in form one and this one just looks absolutely nutty and if he does get some kind of upgrade in the winter upgrades this card could be beast but it's all about foot champions as we finish off our last 20 games a lot of theories going around this weekend. A lot of theories going. Again, gameplay wasn't the best. It just wasn't the best. However, every game that you went into was a five bar. Yet, when you was in the game, the game was completely laggy. You had delay. You had the stop start. And you had the same issues that we have every single weekend. Now, today, as I'm recording the audio for this, there seems to have been a reason possibly for why. Today, they have released patch notes for an upcoming update, which is on PC at the moment, so it should be hitting the consoles before the weekend. And let me tell you that this could be the most pivotal update to FIFA 18 so far. It looks absolutely nutty. If you want to see the actual text of it, you can actually go onto my Twitter. I've retweeted a few things and, and I'll show you the pictures on there. But, it's you know, we're going to fairly self-explain it here anyway. So, this is a massive update, guys. It's a massive, massive update. And it could change how Foot Champions is played going forward. So, I'm actually excited. So, GG to EA to actually addressing some of these issues. Let's hope they work out how they intended when they've put them together you know sometimes when they when they do a patch it usually creates other problems which you know aren't foreseeable they don't know it's going to happen let's just hope for the sake of fifa 18 that this patch works out exactly how they intended it i'm sure they've tested it as much as they can but without thousands and thousands of people replicating the same thing it's hard to cover everything that might go wrong so, fingers crossed this works. They need this for FIFA 18. They need this to work. Hope it goes well. So, the update includes major gameplay changes. So, the first one is, after kickoff, the defending team will be more compact in defence. Attacking players will be less aggressive pushing up the field. And their defensive players will close the space between them and their attacking players to reduce the gap and limit the attacking team space. That is addressing kick off boost basically your defenders will be tighter at the back your attackers and midfield won't push up so much creating massive space behind them and hopefully from kick off the whole team of your of your team will be more compact to avoid the person taking the kick off to be able to just walk straight through your defense so basically there they are admitting that from kickoff, the defending team's attackers pushed up far too high, which we've said every single weekend. The midfielders pushed up way too high, which we've said every weekend. And the defence just wasn't switched on, which again we've said every single weekend. So they have acknowledged the problem. They knew it was, you know, they knew it was happening. And unfortunately, it's taken them this long to fix it. But obviously, it's majorly complex. It's obviously, it's a majorly complex problem. But if this fixes it, this could make FIFA 18 great again. 
Also, address the following issues in gameplay. Goal, goalkeepers unnecessarily clearing the ball when it was passed to them in certain situations. Now, this has kind of arised uh, like in the last few weeks, and it's become majorly noticeable in the last few weeks. But when you press A and a pass back to your keeper, it just boots you up the field. Randomly, it happens. It happens when you don't want it to. It happens. It doesn't happen when you want it to. So when you assume the keeper's going to kick it, he doesn't. You end up conceding goals. So again, that on top of the kickoff boost, they were two major things that used to made you know really, 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 really give you a headache. You can see there we've done another tradable team of the week upgrade. Woo! Keep them coming, baby. You can see on the screen the prices that we've paid. Again, they're coming in at about 25,000 coins. Um, but I just really wanted to talk. You can see what's going on on the screen. I really wanted to talk about the update because it should be massive. So, kickoff boost arrested. Arrested? <laughs> arrested? Let's arrest everybody. Kickoff boost addressed. Goalkeeper clearing the ball for no reason. Addressed. Two major issues. The next one. The following changes have been made for Foot Champions Weekend League matches. All matches will now take place in the FEWC Stadium with the time of day always set to night and weather always set to clear. That avoids the, necess the necessity to play home and away for your stadium. That avoids the necessity to play home and away because you might get some kind of stupid like pattern on the pitch or shadow or it might be raining or you know just stuff like that i don't really i can't remember a game last time i played a game in snow or rain to be fair but it will definitely address the shadow issues so imagine you're going into a game away from home you've got lag delay button delay you're playing in a stadium that has shadows you've conceded four kickoff boost goals and your goalkeeper keeps kicking the ball away. They have now addressed 85% of those issues. The next one. The pre-match screen will no longer display which team is home or away. Instead, players will always see their team on the left. And their opponent will be on the right. Basically, this avoids you from having to cherry pick home and away games. Which is stunning. You will no longer see your opponent's kit in either gameplay or pre-match screens. Instead, you will see your home kit and your opponent will play in your away kit. And vice versa. If you are in your away kit, your opponent will be in your home kit. This does take off the need to purchase kits so much off the market. However, if they do an SBC which involves kits, that, should, that could be cool. But what it does do is it makes you be able to play in kits you actually want to play in. Rather than kits that you feel you have to play in. Because people cherry pick games if they see you in your top 100 kit or your elite kit or something like that. So people can now play in a top 100 kit if they want to. People can now play in an elite kit if they want to. You on your screen will only see your kits. That's great man. That is going to stop cherry picking. So you don't know if you're home or away. You don't know what kits the other person's got. You don't know what team the other person's got. We should see a change in some of the top players on the leaderboard. You can see there we bought Ward Prowse. Because we're going to do another tradable team of the week eventually. So we bought Ward Prowse there just to get him into the club. 11,000 coins for Ward Prowse. Not bad. You can, yeah. So going back to the update. That will change cherry picking. There's no longer cherry picking. That's brilliant. If you look at the Foot Champions channel. You will see... That a lot of the people on there do not play players in their playing bracket category. Right? You will see top 100 players who end up on 39 wins out of 40 play gold 2 players. Play gold 3 players. Think about that. Is that why they get... They are a higher class of player... Is that why they consistently get 39 out of 40? Because they're not playing 39 out of 40 opponents, 39 out of 40 games. If I'm playing at a gold one level, I would say that 25 out of my 40 games, I'm playing people at gold one or above. 
that's probably why I'm, I've been finishing at where I've been finishing. You understand what I mean? Do top 100 players play top 100 players 25 out of their 40 games? Absolutely not. If they're lucky, they don't even play a top 100 player once. So hopefully this addresses that as well. It's a major update. GG EA. GG. Um, the Orbit camera can now be used when when watching Foot Champions channel replays. That's good for people that do the analysis of the Foot Champions replays. Address the following issues in FIFA Ultimate Team. The player fitness and squad fitness search filters on transfer market will now work. So you can now search for a squad fitness or a player individual fitness. That is great. That is superb. The specialities displayed for some informed players in the team management screens of foot online match were incorrect. Okay, that's not important. We only care about the major ones. Right, another one. Now, this one might explain what was happening on this weekend. They was testing it. They were changing it. They were doing whatever they could. And it was giving us false readings of what the bars were. Which is why you were going into a five bar game thinking it was a five bar game, but actually being in a two bar game. So on the following online mode, on all the online, online modes, they have made the following changes. Updated the colors used for the connection quality bars in all online modes, including in foot. Five, four and three bars are now green. Two bars are yellow and one bar is red. So you used to get two bar red before. Hopefully now, it's from, from when this update goes live, visually it is correct. This weekend, visually it was not correct. You were going into a five bar connection and it was legit a two bar connection with button delay, server delay, lag, speed up. Seriously, everybody was complaining again this weekend. So... Hopefully, it works as they intended. I really hope it does for their sake. Because people are getting angry and angry and angrier every single weekend. They also made changes for uh, pro clubs with uh, incorrect attributes. And following cha and uh, changes in uh, audio and visual. Um, yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. So the main changes, just to go over, if it works as they thought it should, or as they want it to, or as this patch hopefully does, they've if, if it if it works, they've kicked they've kicked, they've addressed kickoff boost. Let's hope it works. Let's hope a new kickoff boost doesn't come along where you can score from the halfway line, like old FIFA's where you can Press LBY over the midfield like old FIFAs. Let's hope there's not a new kickoff boost. But if it works, they've addressed kickoff boost. If it works, they've addressed connection quality of seeing what you're doing going into a game. If it works, they've ad addressed cherry picking. If it works, they've addressed not being able to play in a kit you want. Some superb stuff. Absolutely some superb stuff. If it works, they've addressed the goalkeeper clearing the ball for no reason. If it works, if it works, if it works, let's hope it works. So you will now be playing in the FEWC Stadium all the time. That's in great, that is a great time to start because this weekend is also the first major pro tournament in Barcelona. So that should be superb. They won't be playing on this update, but hopefully we will by the time to it ties in nicely. It ties in nicely. So get your practices in on the FEWC Stadium. Because obviously the camera angles of what you're used to might change depending on where your camera sat height-wise. So have a few games in online seasons before you go into the weekend league in this stadium. Practice it. See what's happening. Hopefully this update does come up this weekend. It probably will. I know they got a little flack before for... Um, releasing an update before foot champions but this is for foot champions so they need to release this as soon as possible hopefully it works fingers crossed it does let's hope we don't see kickoff boost let's hope goalkeepers don't keep kicking the ball 
Let's hope, let's hope, let's hope. GGA, I hope it works. And I'm excited to play Foot Champions next weekend now. I'm actually excited. However, back to the matter in hand, this weekend, I'm not excited. <laughs> back to the matter in hand. Jeez, the gameplay again. But let me tell you, Son, third in form is it? Get that card. Wow. He will finish anything. Absolutely anything. The card is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Benucci. Probably twice out of the out of the 30 odd games we played. Perhaps twice I noticed his lack of pace. Other than that, he's a bit of a brick wall, as much as you can be with kickoff boosts. Delay, you know, with the stuff that make you can see goals, as much as he can be, he was a brick. Danny Alves, enjoyed him a lot, absolutely fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Lanzini, superb, we might end up selling Lanzini, just because it's quite a lot of coins. And I think I can make money off him, because we only paid 410 However, if he is only like... Goes up to 4.15. I will keep him because he is one of the best left backs I have played with this game. Absolutely stunning. But Son is taking the plaudits. So, this weekend, gameplay is getting to me. So, I've decided I'm just we're just going to try and... Because we got to 18 quite quickly again... We tried to get to 21. We get to 21 quite quickly. So then we decide that the minute we're getting to 25, that is it. We get the packs because we need coins. So we win this game. When the fun stops, stop. The fun has stopped. <laughs> it stopped. So, yeah, we don't play the last couple of games. We end up on 25. Again. It took me about four games to get the last one because I was just, I, I'd gone. I'd absolutely gone again. I, I didn't want to play it. The, the, the gameplay was killing me and it literally took me about four games to get that last win again. So if I would have like been on course and on track, I probably would have done it with about six, seven games left. But squad battles we've got for this week. Again, we, you know, we haven't done much. I'm going to play more squad battles. Now our coin balance is in trouble. Uh, because we need to start building again and starting again. This is this week's featured squad. But yeah, the fun wasn't there. But then we get this news on this update. So hopefully, if it works, it brings the fun back. Fingers crossed. Absolute fingers crossed. You know, we've put a lot of work into this game. And unfortunately, the gameplay side of it is letting us down slightly. But look at the team we've got. We play 38 out of 38 games, and that is our last weekly objective. Weekly objective completed, and we get a nice pack and a hunter, which is a cool, cool reward. But again, we've got no weekly objectives left now. We've done them all. You know, we're at the end of the weekend league, and we've done all of the weekly objectives. You can see the servers are struggling again because the packs aren't coming up. You know, it's... It's bad, man. It's really bad. So, we've got three packs to open. First up, Jumbo Premium. We don't get any flash. All pack openings now seem like a little bit of a, you know, anticlimactic thing. But, as we're opening these, Team of the Year are still in packs. So, that's why we're opening them. We're there for the luck. We're hoping if we can get that one big pull, we can get the Team of the Year player. Hopefully, you just never know. We could get another team of the year player. That would be absolutely superb. So we open up another premium gold. Can we get a blue? Please, come on. Give us a blue. Give us a flash. We don't get flash, unfortunately. So we have one pack left on this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Premium gold. Three rares. Come on. Give us a blue. No, we don't even get boards. So, 
this is what we're going to do before team of the year ends so you will see in tomorrow's video we are clearing house we are going to do as many 81 plus packs two player upgrades gold upgrades silver to gold upgrades bronze to we're going to do as much as we can to get as many packs as we can and tomorrow will be another of those 81 plus pack opening things with team of the weeks worst case scenario we get ourselves more team of the week tradables that's it fingers crossed so thanks for watching fifa update man fifa update let's hope it works ggea i hope it works i hope it's in for this weekend i can't wait if it is I'm a ho I hope you're happy with the update. It looks great. It does look great. Team of the year, as I'm recording this audio, Lee, is over. But tomorrow, you will see the scrapes of the team of the year where we clear the club out for 81 packs and whatever. We go hard to get a team of the year. Will it pay off? Check out tomorrow's video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Drop a thumbs up, it would be greatly appreciated. But more importantly than that, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in a bit.